Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar about programming in the AI Workout Builder. Hopefully, you all are having a great day so far. Yes, Susie. So everyone will get a um, send the recording of the webinar afterwards in an email later today or sometime tomorrow, probably. So you can always share that if you need to as well. Also, if your coworker has registered but can't show up today, they'll also get a recording of the call, um, the webinar, excuse me, um, today as well. All right, everybody, we'll go ahead and get started here. So first, a little introduction to myself. So what is up, everybody? My name is Joey. I'm a product specialist here at Everfit. So my job is to speak to gym owners, personal trainers, um, everybody like you, just to see how our platform can best see your business. Um, so this webinar today is obviously going to be about the AI Workout Builder mostly, and also our Master Planner, which is a feature that we're coming out with very soon, which will allow you all to periodize your programs really easily and progressively overload your clients a lot easier than you can currently on the platform. So that is mainly what we're going to cover, hence why I asked that question in the poll, just to see a uh, majority of you guys' experience with it. And it looks like majority of you guys haven't had too much experience with it. So you should be able to get a lot of use out of this webinar. I have a couple slides prepared, so I'm going to go through those, talking about each one of the features. And towards the end, there'll be some extra tips and tricks on how you can program more efficiently, a little bit quicker. And then I'm going to jump over to the web platform and actually show you guys the features, uh, give a live demo of how they work, what they're going to look like. And then we'll go ahead and finish with a Q&A as well. So if, has any, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat as I'm going through anything. Um, once I'm finished, everything is when I'm going to address the questions. So just be patient with me. I'm going to get to the all slides, show the full demo, and then I'll start with the questions up in the chat. Um, but feel free to type message pop in your head, and I'll try my best to get to everybody's. All right. So yes, this uh, webinar today is about the AI Workout Builder and the Master Planner. Kind of our goals um, for this webinar is to help you all understand the AI Workout Builder, how to use it, how to send in correct prompts, and best practices for it. Two would be how to periodize your programs better with the Master Planner. Again, new feature that's coming out very soon. I'll show you guys how it's going to work, how it'll look, and the best way you guys can use that. So when it is released, you guys will already be experts. And then the third, again, is just some more tips and tricks on how you can save time, because that's ultimately the goal, right? Um, when using these platforms, you as a coach trying to save as much time as, as you can, uh, trying to reduce a lot of that admin work. So some of the reasons why these might matter. Um, faster progress for your clients. Again, being able to e easily periodize and progressively overload your clients will increase in the results. Higher satisfaction and retention, making the process a lot smoother for the coach and the client overall, leading to more engagement from the clients themselves. And then obviously being able to grow your business, add more clients on, like I was just saying, without a whole lot more admin work or without kind of tying yourself out. So starting off with that AI workout builder. So we've added this feature about a couple months ago now. Um, and what it does is it allows you to copy and paste any prompt into the AI, and then we'll turn it into an EverFit built workout for you. So if you guys are coming from training clients over Excel sheets or Google Docs or anything like that, this feature is going to help you save so much time in terms of onboarding or uploading your content into the platform. Because instead of having to go into our system, type out each exercise, find it in the library, drag and drop, and adding all the information, if you have any workouts that are already written down kind of like this on the left here, then you can just copy and paste that directly into the AI. And it will turn it into a workout you can then assign to your clients and they can fill out all the data. All the data will save. So it's super easy to track all the metrics for the clients from there as well. So some of the best ways you can write the prompts for this AI. So I know someone already mentioned how they tried it. But it didn't really work too well. Here's some of the things that are um, you want to keep in mind when writing the prompts. The way I kind of like to, I think about it is if you're like on the gym floor with somebody and they ask you to write down sets, reps, and weight for certain exercises, how you would write that out on a sheet of paper is kind of how you want to type it into the AI. So starting off, if you have a title for the workout, that'll just go straight at the top. With our um, platform, you can have different sections within your workouts. Sections can be something like a warm-up. If you want to save that section to use it in multiple workouts, you can do that. So if you want the AI to pick up on that, you would just need another like little subtitle. You can even write the word section and then type in the name warm up. That'll also work. Um, but you can just do the name of the section as well. And then just the name of the exercise and the sets and reps. So here, as you can see, kind of bodyweight squats, 3 to the 10, push-ups, 3 to the 15. Something as simple as that, the AI will pick up on it, put the exercise in, put the correct number of sets, reps, and also if you have weight in there, it'll throw that in. 
For the next section down here, the section title is called Workout, so that'll separate it out in the platform. And then if you ever want to superset anything, a great way to do it is like exercise 1A, 1B. That will automatically superset anything like that. Um, you can also do multiple supersets. If you do 1A, 1B, followed by 2A, 2B, it'll just superset the first two and then the second two exercises as two different supersets. Uh, so that's another little tip or trick if you guys are trying to set, set that up. If you are specifying a certain weight, you can throw it underneath. You can add, for example, this barbell bench press. If it says 4X8, comma, 135 pounds, that will also pick up in the AI multiple different ways. Um, just kind of important to put the pounds or the kg. So our system knows that's the actual weight you want the clients to do for um, that exercise. Or if you want to specify certain types of sets, so like failure sets, drop sets, warm-up sets, whatever it may be, you can type that out in the AI, I'll pick that up, and it'll automatically input it on the um, in the new workout that it generates as well. So those are just some tips on how you can kind of put in that perfect prompt for the AI to pick up on it, and it will create the workout exactly as you're hoping for every time you use it. Um, one thing I will say is if you guys use exercises that are not in our system, which happens all the time, right? Um, what it'll do is it'll find either the closest thing to the exercise you've inputted, or it'll just create the new workout for you and just put the work exercise title in. So, and then what you'll do then is just click add new exercise. Then you can fill out the information and it'll still be saved in that workout. And our system will kind of just prompt you to create that new exercise right on the spot. All right, on to some programming strategy. So first off, with the regular program builder, you can build multi-week programs for your clients. I'm sure a lot of you guys have used this part of the feature already where you create your workouts and then throw them on the calendar, create a program that's multiple weeks long, and then you can assign that to multiple clients at the same time. If you guys do any sort of group coaching, running any challenges, all that can be um, created at once and then assigned to multiple clients. Cool thing we're coming out with is going to be the master planner. What this is going to do is currently when you create a program, let's say you have a four-week program and you want to adjust the sets, reps, or weight of the third or fourth week. Right now, you have to open each workout, change the um, data you want, and then copy and paste that into the following week or do that for each workout you want to if you want to increase it um, for different weeks. What the master plan will do, it's going to let you see the whole program really easily on one screen. It'll show all the workouts. You can have different views and you can make those adjustments a lot easier as opposed to opening each workout, closing it and copying and paste it. You can just make the, uh, the adjustments super easily. It'll automatically save and apply to that program. So then you can easily periodize, like I was saying, or progressively overload your clients. And then with some additional tips when it comes to programming. So one thing is we do have over 20 pre-made programs in the platform. So if some of you guys are maybe more nutrition-based and you want to add some um, workouts for your clients, this is a great way to just have something that's pre-made. You can always make edits to it or customize it however much you want to, but it's a good starting place for having multi-week programs. There's a bunch in there. A lot of them have to do with specific equipment the client might have access to them. So they, there's like a lot of bodyweight ones. There's some dumbbells and bands only. There are some full gym ones. There's over, like I was saying, over 20 templates you guys can use uh, in that library and take advantage of and assign to your clients. With the onboarding flow, there are some kind of trigger set up where you can have it set up where the clients will fill out a form in that onboarding flow. Uh, based off the questions they answer in that form, they will automatically be assigned to a certain program. So here, for example, if they are a beginner of fitness, they'll get assigned to program A. If they're intermediate, they get assigned to program B. If they're advanced, they get assigned to program C. So you can have that conditional formatting where depending on what they answer, they'll automatically get pushed into a certain program. And then you can also like tag programs. So if you end up being on the platform for a while, if you have a lot of programs already in there, again, just trying to make your platform as organized as possible, I would definitely take advantage of those tags. We have a lot of categories in there. You can also create your own categories just so you can always filter out and through your, the programs you've set up. If you are doing more templated programming where you're using the same program for more than one client, they want to make smaller adjustments for them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen, jump over to the web platform, and I will start with that AI workout builder. So here, to access it, you'll go to the library and go over to your workouts. 
it'll show up right here next to add new workout. And then here is where you're going to enter in any of the text. So we do have an example you can throw in there. So as you can see here, the title of the workout will show up there, different section. And then here is where they signify certain supersets, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 2C. So they want superset multiple different types. If you want to add a tempo, you can do it in there. If you want to add rest times, you can do it like so. You can specify each shive or something like um, kind of one-legged, one-arm, different workouts. And then here's the second section, AMRAP with burpees, mountain climbers, and then complete as many rounds as possible in five minutes. So you go ahead and hit generate. As long as it looks something along the lines of this or like the examples I was showing you in the PowerPoint, the system will um, read that and add it into the platform. So here it takes each exercise. It has the different supersets of two exercises, three exercises, two exercises, and then the second section down here, the AMRAP. And it is set to go through kind of five minutes, as many rounds as they can. So here, like I was saying, you just put on the exercises, like exactly how you're going to write it on a gym floor if someone asks, or if you already have it written down in the Google Doc or an Excel sheet. From here, you can always make little adjustments to it. The more adjustments you make, our system will pick up on that and kind of understand how you like the program or write your workouts, and it'll be easier and easier every single time you use the system. Then from here, you can easily just save that and assign it to clients or do whatever you want with it, add the programs or whatever it may be. Going down to programs, I'll first start with any of those little kind of tips and tricks I'll show you guys, and then I'll finish with that master plan because I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to that feature. So make sure to take some more time on that, finish with that, and then we can go straight into the Q&A. So first, with those templates, sorry, I don't know if you guys saw where that was. When you are in the library in the program section, up top, you can click Explore Templates. So here, like I was saying, we have over 20 templates you can use for different equipment available to the clients, different lengths and stuff like that. So here's body weight only, full gym, cardio program. We have like a couch to 5K, bootcamp style workouts, dumbbells and bands for beginners. So a lot of different options you guys can take advantage of, download these and then make adjustments and assign them straight to your clients. To tag programs, you'll use these tags right here. And just go ahead and you can choose from our list. We do have a decent amount in there. You can also create your own tag if you want to. Again, try to organize them as much as possible when you do have a lot of programs. This really help keep everything um, nice and clean on your platform and allow you to easily find programs if you need to use them again for a different group of people or a different client themselves. And then with those conditional questions. So the onboarding flow is found in the automations tab with that first feature there, onboarding flow. So here, what you would do is when you are adding in your onboarding forms, you can set up the triggers for one of the questions. So here I have the trigger applied for that question. And it applies over here in the assignment with the programs. So as you can see with the trigger, the question is, what is your experience with fitness? If a client fills out, they are new to working out, they join the beginner program. If they've worked out in the past, we want to get back into it, join the intermediate program. If they currently work out or if they're a fitness enthusiast, they both join the advanced program. So if a lot of you coaches who do more on-demand style coaching, a little more hands-off, a little more low touch, this is a great feature that you guys can take advantage of to give your um, clients an even more personalized experience depending on where they are in their fitness kind of career. All right. And then finally, with that new master planner, jumping back to the library here in that programs tab. When you open up any program you've already created, the master planner is going to be a button right here when this feature is released. So like I was saying earlier, right now, if I wanted to adjust the weight on this pull day, it would open this up. I can go ahead and find these incline hammer curls. And I wanted to make that 40 pounds in that third week. From there, I can copy this workout, paste it in week four. And then I can get rid of this original workout that didn't have the weight changes. And now these two have 40 pounds set for those curls. With the master planner, you'll get one super easy view of the entire week or the same workout over the course of four weeks. So here with the week by week view, it's still day one. So it's the same pull day every single time, but over the course of all four weeks. So here, instead of three job sets, if I wanted to change it in week three, 
and add in a set for 150 pounds. And then in week four, I want it to go up to 160 pounds. Super easy to do that. You can even adjust the reps right here if you want to or any of the rest time. So again, one super clean, easy view. You can have it go along the course of the four weeks. And if you want to, you can just build a workout once here. And then you can copy it into the next three weeks. And again, make those smaller adjustments on this super clean, easy screen. If you don't want just the view for the pull day, I can go to the next one on the push day, make those same adjustments. You can have it for any of your exercises. And then same for any other workout you have set up in that week. The day by day view is going to be all week one, days one, three, and five. So here, pull day, push day, leg day. This is all in the first week. So if I wanted to go to week three and kind of have the same increments for each one of the workouts, you can do that as well. Increase the weight, sets, reps, however you need to for each workout or each week. So thank you all for joining. If you guys do have more questions, please feel free to keep typing them in. I'll hang around for a couple more minutes here. If not, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully, guys, uh, I gave you all a better kind of understanding of how to set up that AI workout builder, how to write those prompts, certain things to do to kind of get those specifics, like the alternate exercise, um, and also the master planner, which we're all super excited to release. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to it, so that'll be a good one. And again, coming middle of next month, that first release, one week later, it'll be out for the auto flows and the studio programs. Again, thank you all for joining. Hopefully this was helpful and have a great rest of your day.